was always interested in uh, what we call the bigger questions of life. I was looking for answers in, in mathematics and literature. I started to study philosophy. I had more answers, but I wasn't happier with it. The, the good thing was that I started to work in the military hospital and I, I got connected with psychotherapists. And I was really intrigued by their way of talking about life. I became a psychotherapist and for the first time I felt the connection between my life and my knowledge. Now at my 50s, I can say that my main interest is shifted a bit. Instead of being focused on healing, I am more focused on growing. We, we tend to, to create a, a solid, beautiful story about, about our youth. And uh, when I was really investigating my, my own development, there came a word like words like melancholy. So my teenage years were, in, in a sense, they were lonely because there, was, there were parts of me that couldn't be expressed because I didn't have the language to express myself and I didn't have the courage to, uh, to express myself. I was always wondering about complexity of things and th that were things I had to deal with on my own. I have a memory. One of the questions I was, I was dealing with, I was always thinking is that you have a, a fly and um, I was told that there are flies that only live one day. For me, it was a, a big question. Would they experience their life as a lifetime like I did with a lot of very, very small cycles of day and night, or, or would it be a day and a night, like, like it was for me in this 24 hours? That were the things I was wondering when I would, would have been able to put this question on the table with someone who was really interesting in finding the answer with me. <laughs> this, this would uh, connect me to the world better than that. I, I didn't really feel connected. There was a lot of inner doubt I, my imagination was that the answer would come when I went to go to university and study philosophy. I loved um, uh, science when I was a teenager. So my, my favorite thing was maths and physics. Uh, everything that had to do with this uh, chemical constructions, I didn't get it. I was puzzled by the fact that the one part was dealing with material things, objectivity, physics, and the other part was dealing with life. It had the same basic structure, like the atom. There was a, a more fundamental thing that wasn't answered. And I, I could only ask this question by telling my teacher I didn't get the formulas, I, which was very strange because I was a, a very well-performing student in math and physics, and it was a very, low performer in the, in this other discipline. Yeah. I started to think I was really stupid. But deep inside there was, there was a question that wasn't answered and I couldn't go on in my thinking, that was all. What has changed since my education and uh, what life brought me and what I really uh, wish for those young people to uh, to discover at early age is that uh, that being confused is uh, is the basic state of mind of someone who is taking him or herself and life serious, and that it isn't a question of being stupid, but it is a question of being curious and of. Um, uh, being sensitive 